This segment brought to you by Kansas Grain Sorghum, growers working together. Find out more at kansasgrainsorghum.org. Welcome to Farm Factor. Up first today, Kyle Bauer visits with Randy Krutz with U.S. Farmers and Ranchers Alliance about the new film, Food Evolution. Hi, this is Kyle Bauer. I'm visiting with Randy Krutz. He is Chief Executive Officer of the Farmers and Ranchers Alliance. Uh, Randy, right now there's a film going around called Food Evolution, and uh, it's getting really quite a lot of play. You, uh, Farmers and Ranchers Alliance, has ended up being involved, but you didn't start out being involved with it. We didn't. We, we had an opportunity to look at it last fall, and we took that opportunity. It wasn't uh, finished at that point, and it's an opportunity that we get um, at least once a month where people will bring films to us because of our experience with the film Farmland and other projects we've done in the pop culture and theatrical space. We get a lot of uh, a lot of folks that want us involved and oftentimes want some help funding something. Um, and sometimes that's the end of the conversation, right? This particular film uh, tweaked us just a little bit to the point that when it was, we asked to see it when it was completed, we were able to do that. We put it in front of our board of directors. There was a lot of support for it. Um, so it's a, it's a film produced by the Institute of Food Technology, excuse me, uh, originally funded by the Institute of Food Technologists, produced by Scott Hamilton Kennedy. And Scott's an award-winning documentarian and has done a lot of this. Um, he has uh, created something pretty special here from something that it, it changes people's minds and maybe hearts and minds about GMOs and taking a reflective look at how the science has played out in this arena. Um, so we've, we've decided to get involved in it from a standpoint of helping to fund the promotion of the film. We weren't there for the production, but we're funding the promotion of the film. Well, I did have an opportunity to see it a few months ago, and um, it really took his evolution in his thought on GMOs and took him 180 degrees. It did. He'll, he self-admits that when he started this process, he was not in favor of GMOs. He'll also tell you he didn't necessarily understand them, but his corner of the world, he's from Los Angeles, it wasn't surprising at all that he had the opinions that he had. So uh, what is your plan as promoting the film? How does your involvement continue? So we want to do a, a lot of social promotion. It's on Hulu right now. We want to make sure that uh, people people know that. We, it's on Amazon and iTunes, and we, we're doing a lot of social advertising in that arena. We want to get it on college campuses, and so we've started down that, fa that path. It's been at Madison in Wisconsin. We're going to Vanderbilt. Uh, we're going to 30 other universities uh, throughout this year to make sure that we're not necessarily on ag school campuses. That's not where we want to be with this. Uh, in fact, um, that will happen without us, right? So we need to be at Berkeley and we need to be at, at, at um, you know, in New York University and at Georgetown and universities that maybe don't always understand modern agriculture and maybe have a very, very different perspective of how we grow and raise food. And this film, at least on this one topic of GMOs, flips people. It makes them reconsider their position on GMOs. Randy Crutch, Chief Executive Officer of Farmers and Ranchers Alliance, promoting the field, the film, Food Evolution. Back to you, Jamie. Thanks, Kyle. Folks, come back after these messages for this week's Kansas Soybean Update. KFRM is one of the largest farm radio stations in the nation, dedicated to informing and entertaining rural listeners from northern Oklahoma to southwestern Nebraska. You can catch KFRM in many ways, of course, 550 on the AM dial, streaming at KFRM.com, or on your smartphone by going to the TuneIn Radio app, or on Ag AM in Kansas on Tuesdays, and Facebook every day of the week. KFRM, tune us in. You'll be glad you did. 